in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, God the Father Amen. Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. For the intentions of the Pope. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For an increase of faith. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase of hope. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For an increase in love. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. So now we have the wonderful opportunity to be praying the luminous mysteries tonight. And so I wanted to take us back to 2002 when Pope St. John Paul II first introduced the luminous mysteries in his apostolic letter, Rosarium Virginis Mariae. And there's some beautiful reflections that I think will help us enter into this powerful time of prayer together for our nation. One of the things that he said when he was first introducing the mysteries of light, he said, it is only in the mystery of the word made flesh that the mystery of man is seen in its true light. The rosary helps us to this way of light. So tonight we accompany the whole nation with Mary as our guide to Christ who is our light. There's something else really beautiful that Pope St. John Paul II said, he said, listening to the master in the mysteries of his public ministry, they find the light which leads them to enter the kingdom of God. So tonight we journey with our nation. And I was thinking one way we could enter into these mysteries of special intentions is really looking at each one of the mysteries of light. And so I'd like us to just consider these options for our own prayer as we pray each decade. For the baptism in the Jordan, this was one of those beautiful moments where we encounter the dignity of who we are in Christ. That in that moment, the Father speaks over his beloved Son and said, this is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Why don't we pray for every person in our nation that they would become truly this light by understanding their dignity as beloved sons and beloved daughters. We could pray for healing in our country that people would come to know who their true identity is in Christ. That second luminous mystery is that wonderful mystery of the wedding feast of Cana. And there are many places where we experience darkness and places where we experience we have no wine. It just seems like it's simple water. There's no source of living water. There's no source of the joy of the wedding feast. 
And yet, if we're really living in the kingdom of heaven today, in this moment, we can still seek the Lord with Mary to say, we have no wine. Please come to us again and fill us up again with that new wine, new life. So when we pray this wedding feast of Cana, let's pray for those areas of darkness in our country where we truly need this new wine. Proclamation of the kingdom of God. Each one of us is an ambassador to the word of God. Each one of us in our own little way becomes a profound witness to the living gospel today. So let's pray for all of our missionaries in this nation. That includes each one of us in our own little way to become that proclamation of the kingdom right in our workplaces, right in our homes, right in our parishes, in our dioceses that we would truly become that ambassador for the kingdom and ask for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit to inflame us again with that fire of courage and love for our people. The transfiguration, we're in an important time in our nation when it comes to the issues of life. This is a moment when Jesus Christ with Moses and Elijah show us that Jesus Christ is the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. That this is a moment in our history, in our country, where life is fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Let us pray for our nation to come back to the fullness of life where we are transfigured right in the midst of our society today. That life would truly become a place of nurturing, a place of fostering of reverence, and that our own lives would be transfigured. And lastly, this is a beautiful mystery of looking at the institution of the Holy Eucharist. We know that we are in year one of our Eucharistic revival in this nation. Let us pray especially for our bishops who are leading their archdiocese and diocese throughout the nation as we begin this first year. Let's pray for our bishops and their special intentions. Let's pray that they themselves will experience the deep love of Jesus Christ in the Eucharist. And that overflows into all of our priests who are shepherding all of us in our parishes. Let us support our priests and our bishops by our own powerful prayers as we entrust our lives, as they entrust their lives to Jesus in the Eucharist. So as we enter in these mysteries of light, may you know how much Our Lady is with you and that you yourself are a light to this world. Thank you for what you are doing to be this ambassador for Jesus Christ, who loves you unto death. So we'll be praying the first luminous mystery, the baptism of the Lord. Jesus is baptized by John in the Jordan River. The fruit of the mystery, openness to the Holy Spirit. The intention is we'll pray for this rosary today. For all college students to place their work what they achieve rather than the gift of being created by God. For all Greek men and women on campus, for all student athletes, and also for all of our family and loved ones who don't know the heart of the Lord, that they may come to find fullness of faith in the Catholic Church to be a sacred heart of Jesus. Scripture for meditation, Matthew 3, 1 through 2, and 11 through 17. In those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I baptize you with water for repentance, but he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the granary, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee, to the Jordan, to John, to be baptized with him. John would have prevented him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he consented, and when Jesus was baptized, he went up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and alighting on him, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us all our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy queen, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy queen, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy glory, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy glory, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and Blessed is the fruit of thy name, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Amen. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is baptized by John. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and it shall be. The world without end, amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and may all our souls to heaven, especially those who most need of heaven. Pray for us, Mary, star of the new evangelization, that we may be radically faithful to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. The second luminous mystery, the wedding feast at Cana. Christ changes water into wine at Mary's request. The fruit of the mystery, meeting Jesus through Mary. I'd like to offer my intentions of this decade for peace in the home, particularly to and for all married and engaged couples and those who hope to be married, and for peace in the world, particularly for deliverance and protection of the persecuted Christians in Nigeria and for the end of the war in Ukraine. The scripture meditation comes from John chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. On the third day, there was a marriage at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus was also invited to the marriage with his disciples. When the wine failed, the mother of Jesus said to him, they have no wine. And Jesus said to her, O woman, what have you to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to his servants, do whatever he tells you. Now six stone jars were standing there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding 20 or 30 gallons. Jesus said to them, fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, now draw some out and take it to the steward of the feast. So they took it. When the steward of the feast tasted the water, now become wine, and did not know where it came from, though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, 
every man serves the good wine first. And when men have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Cana in Galilee and manifested his glory and his disciples believed in him. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who revealed his glory at your request. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, star of the new evangelization, be our advocate, bring us to Christ. The third luminous mystery is the proclamation of the kingdom. Christ proclaims the kingdom of God and calls all to conversion. And the fruit of the mystery is repentance. We'd like to offer uh, this decade of the rosary uh, for Native American ministries in the Diocese of Phoenix, as well as for the neighborhood surrounding St. Mary of Refuge. The scripture for meditation is Matthew chapter 4, verse 17, in 23 to 25. From that time, Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And he went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every infirmity among the people. So his fame spread throughout all Syria, 
And they brought him all the sick, those afflicted with various diseases and pains, demoniacs, epileptics, and paralytics, and healed them. And great crowds followed him from Galilee and the Catholics, in Jerusalem and Judea, from the Ottoman Jordan. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who will preach the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sinners. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Who preach the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preach the kingdom and forgiveness of sins. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who preached the kingdom and forgiveness of sin. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it's now, and ever shall, or without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sin, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, star of the new evangelization, that we may truly repent and avoid sin in this year of vision. Fourth Luminous Mystery, the Transfiguration. Jesus is transfigured on Mount Tabor and becomes radiant. The fruit of the mystery is the desire for holiness. And our intentions for this mystery are an end to abortion, um, for a culture of life to be established um, across the world, across the globe, and for the strengthening of marriages and um, mothers and fathers. Here's the scripture for meditation, Matthew 17, 1 through 9. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain apart. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his garments became white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. And Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is well that we are here. If you wish, I will make three booths here, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. He was still speaking when, lo, a bright cloud overshadowed them and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved son, 
with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were filled with awe. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes and they saw no one but Jesus only, as they were coming down the mountain, Jesus commanded them and said, Tell no one the vision until the Son of Man is raised from the dead. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who was transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is transfigured on that table. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who is transfigured on Mount Tabor. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, Lord of our end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead, our, lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Concluding prayer. Pray for us, Mary, star of the new evangelization, that desire for holiness may set our hearts ablaze. The fifth luminous mystery the institution of the Eucharist. At the Last Supper, Christ changes bread and wine into his body and blood. The fruit of the mystery, Eucharistic adoration. I like to offer the intention of this mystery of the rosary for all those suffering from mental illness, especially those suffering from depression and bipolar disorder. The scripture meditation is from Luke chapter 22, verses 15 to 20. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I shall not eat it until it is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he said, Take this and divide it among yourselves. For I tell you that from now on, I shall not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. 
Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, the cup after supper, saying, This cup which is poured out for you is a new covenant in my blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus who gives himself to us in the Eucharist. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Pray for us, Mary, star of the new evangelization. Help us to receive Christ as you did, with reverence and love. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother, Mother of mercy, mercy, our life, life our sweetness, and our hope. To and thee do we cry, for thee for thee. Thee. to thee do we send up our sighs mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, 
Pray, Pray for us, Holy, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. O God, God whose only begotten God, Son, by his life, death, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant, we beseech thee, that by meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gosh, I was filled with joy praying with all of these great men and women who lead the church in uh, individual ways and in uh, broader ways. And just was thinking that tonight, um, all that gathered the cumulative effect of all of these works and all of these apostolic works and all of these ministries and all of these people praying together already affects millions of people, millions of Catholics, people around the world. What an honor, what a, what a humbling honor to be able to pray uh, on this night for all these beautiful intentions with all of these really remarkable lay religious bishops, priests, uh, very beautiful. Before we go, I want to mention a few things that you can check out. One is, if you were intrigued by the method they were praying, uh, you notice there was a clause in the middle of each rosary. There we go. And that um, they had uh, the fruits of the mystery and prayers after each mystery and all of that. If you want to deepen your uh, prayer life in the rosary and really have the rosary draw you into uh, something that's well beyond what's normally prayed in terms of uh, our coming to union with God and contemplative graces. This book, uh, the Contemplative Rosary, is what uh, everyone is following tonight. 